Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Security Lock feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab E that is originally from AT&T here in the U.S. You can see the AT&T logo there on the back. And this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with the same Google account that was previously on the device. And that's basically what the Google Lock consists of, is if you factory reset the device without first taking off the Google account that's on it, you're going to have to log back into that same account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the device was indeed locked. Obviously, they didn't have the login information. The seller had long since disappeared. And it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days with the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let everyone know that our business does offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this specific device without having to have the previous Google account login information. It's actually something that we do directly to the tablet while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer directly through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. So actually, as I was talking, we were running our unlock program that goes ahead and takes care of the lock for us. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and unplug the tablet. And then after it finishes booting back up, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup steps without running into that Google Lock page. Okay, so we're at the welcome screen here. We're going to start going through here now step by step, just like we would have before. And first page we come to is Wi-Fi. We're actually not going to need Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off because it'll make the rest of the process easier. We'll just skip that. And then we have to agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. And that's going to ask us if we want to add a name to it, but we don't need to. We're just going to skip through everything else. We're not going to put a screen lock on the device. And there's the Google services. And it looks like we're already past the point where normally the Google log page would have shown up before. So that is a very good indication here. We're going to skip through the AT&T setup because we don't need to do that. And we don't need to add a Samsung account, so we're going to skip that also. We don't really need any more useful features since we're just trying to get to the home screen as fast as possible. And there we go. So we're all the way through the setup steps. The home screen is loading up here. It looks like we have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So if I go under About Tablet, it does indeed show us here the model number there, the specific Samsung model number, the T377A. That's the Galaxy Tab E that is originally from AT&T. So if you have one of these devices that has the Google Lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. 
Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes los pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.